Welcome to Super Agents Live. This is the one place where you can come and hear the most successful people in real estate. You'll hear how these super agents built their businesses, how they stay productive, and how they stay motivated. Who am I? My name's Toby Salgado, and I made my first million in real estate. And I'm your host for the next 30 minutes while we talk to yet another amazing real estate entrepreneur. Stay tuned. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, hey, welcome to Super Agents Live. Now listen, today, if you're listening to this show, I'm releasing it late. Now, if you're listening on the day it's released, today is the 4th of July. So it's a day off for everybody. I was not going to release anything just because I was going to let you guys catch up on, on, the, old, uh, on the old shows. Um, even some of my most devoted fans are, you know, four or five episodes late. Um, but I traded some emails with uh, a girl, Sherry B, and Sherry said, hey, I would love a show. I'm starting out and all the help I can get, I can do it. Okay, so I decided to do it. Uh, and I'm going to do the, my first Friday solo show. Um, so hopefully you guys uh, take, take something else. Now, today uh, I'm going to talk about something that, uh, well, let's just get to it. Um, first, if you're new to the show, welcome. The hashtag is unpack that idea. Go ahead and get on Twitter, use that hashtag, and it's a big follow tree. Now, I really, really, uh, I tell everybody to, you know, every now and again, go to connect, uh, throw up that hashtag, and anybody that's using it, follow them, and they'll follow you back. Uh, and when you use it, when you use it, and I see it, and you tag me, um, I'll follow you. So, um, uh, one of my one of the, and we do have a strong tribe. Now, one of the people in our tribe, uh, Sean from at GA Property Shop, he he told me he's like, just today we traded some stuff on on Twitter, and he said, hey, thanks, man. <clears throat> you know, thanks for promoting it. I you know I've met a lot of good people. So, I want you to be part of our team. Um, one quick thing again, today's July 4, 2014. If you're happen to be listening to this in the future, um, we are doing a live event, July 18 here in San Diego. It's a big mastermind. You can look, you can look at it two ways. <clears throat> you know, it's either, you can look at it as a big mastermind session, or you can look at it as, as sort of like a big group group coaching type event. Um, what we do is we put everybody on the hot seat and everybody t tells about their business, shares what's working, what's not working, where they need help. And uh, I take the first crack at, at putting you guys back in line or, you know, getting your business on track or, you know, getting it moving forward faster. And, you know, and everybody's welcome to, to make their own suggestions. <clears throat> so, Pretty powerful. Um, I had a few people say, "Man, I, you know, I'm I'm worried about showing up because I'm new or I don't think I can contribute." And that's craziness. Whatever, wherever you are in your business in your life, um, show up because you know you can. It, it's okay, you know, if you can't um, if you can't make suggestions to other people. And and most most events that that I've done like this. Most of the time, it really is it really is me and maybe one other person making most of the comments. So, so that's fine. Um, it's 150 bucks. We're gonna rent a suite and uh, and you know mastermind it all day. And I'm gonna buy some food. You know, we're gonna have catered food. So, um, again, send me an email. I should ha really have this on the site. I haven't. I've really kind of been. <clears throat> I really kind of been lax with this stuff. Uh, and that is, that's on me, man. Um, so, but I, 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 we're only going to have 10 or 12 people come. So I would, and, and again, we are, you know, here's how most events happen. Nothing, it's crickets, crickets, crickets until the last minute. And there's a big rush. So if you want to go send me an email, send me a, a, a tweet. And my handle is at super agents live and we'll get you on the list. All right. <clears throat> now, there's lots of stuff I've been building. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna. And I'm gonna tell you why I've sort of been lax. And uh, I'm sort of. This is the first time I'm saying this out loud. Okay. Right. So, um, you know, I've been working on wish list member to get everybody, you know, in the membership because uh, there's lots of scripts and stuff that I have that people ask me for one off, and I just can't do that. So, you know, there's gonna be a free membership. There's gonna be a payment, whatever. <laughs> um, um, I have a ton of stuff I've been working on now. This show, you know, again, we talk about real estate. Now, is there a silver bullet? And that's kind of, you know, that's what everybody wants to know. What's the easy thing? How do I just flip a switch and have my business run uh, or take off? How do I do 100 transactions a year out of the gate? Is it possible? It is. And I figured it out. 
uh, probably about two months ago, I figured out the winning strategy. Now, there are episodes that I've done that I haven't released. And I haven't released them because I, when I realized this opportunity, um, I started I, I, I started to build an you know an organization around it. Now, let me tell you what it is. Uh, and it's not for everybody, but what I have found is that uh, it's radio. I said it. It's radio. If you're in real estate, <clears throat> here is the winning combo. It's Boomtown for buyers leads. It's radio for listing leads. Now, everybody, <clears throat> here, uh, again, there's 175 radio markets across the country. The people who dominate each of those markets, like, and it's, it, 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 let me say this, not necessarily dominate, <clears throat> but are, are leaders in that market, they're all on radio. Um, I, from literally from San Diego to upstate New York, Poughkeepsie, whatever, that's how it works. So when I realized that, when I realized everybody is like doing t at least 200 transactions a year using this model, um, I, I went out and I, I was like, how are, you know, how is this working? Whatever. I went out, I found, I, you know, I know real estate. I found a super pro in radio. This guy knows everything and he also knows real estate. We teamed up, we formed a team together and we've been building this. We've been building this thing together in the background. And that, again, that's why I've been busy and not, and I haven't, I've kind of put all this other stuff on the back burner. It hasn't gotten out, you know, whether it's the membership side or, or the Legion product or whatever. So um, very, very soon, um, we're going to be changing the website a little bit and we're going to be doing this. Now, if you're in real estate and you want to do radio, there's one, there's really only one guy, I'm not going to say his name, one guy, one company that, that is doing it. Um, and, uh, and, uh, and here's why most people are locked out of this is because these guys sell exclusivity and I want to do the same thing. <clears throat> but if you own San Diego, now here's the deal in here in San Diego, the guy who does this, who is on the radio, his name is Chris Heller. He's a KW guy, Chris Heller, the home seller. Uh, and he does the guaranteed buy and all that, that stuff. And I've, again, I figured out all that, how it works and, and how not to get squeezed by that. <clears throat> but look, I'll tell you what. So when I started, when I started to figure this out and I had some of these people on the radio or my radio show, um, you know, I, I asked them a few questions, particularly number one is what percentage of your business can you attribute to radio? And uh, and I found out some interesting stats. Now, if you're in a big market like San Diego, on average, you're it's about it's about bigger markets. Um, look, so larger markets, you can count on or what I've heard from these people. You know, it's about 18% of their business comes from radio. Now, I interviewed a guy in uh, in Montana, um, and he's in a small market. It's uh, he's only got 80,000 people in his in his city. 50% of his business comes from radio, and then middle sized markets. Uh, there's there's a I can't remember her name. A girl in Maryland. You know, medium sized market. Uh, you know, uh, let's say uh, you know a 400,000 person community. Uh, that is 30% of her business. So very, very interesting, you know, and the smaller the market, the, 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 the cheaper the, uh, the, the ad buys on radio are. So that's what I've been doing guys. Um, I'm going to put people on the radio and I'm going to turbocharge their businesses. And, uh, and, and by the way, um, uh, you know, not everybody is suited for radio, right? You know, so Boomtown, Boomtown, when, you know, it, number one, it takes a budget, right? Boomtown is about 1800 bucks, right? You get buyer's leads. Now, when you get a, like when you turn on the fire hose for leads like that, you cannot be a solo operator. You can't do it. You need to have a team. <clears throat> and if you can, you know, look, here's the brilliant thing, right? So you do the, do the correct marketing. Uh, and you know, you get out there, you, the fire hose of leads comes on, right? You have a team, right? You have, let's say you have a few buyers agents to handle the boomtown leads. You have a few listing people to hand the rate, handle the radio leads. Here's what you're doing. You're actually building a company. <clears throat> There's a difference between a business and a company. Now a business, a business is, is, is basically a job that you know, you're self-employed, right? <laughs> That's a business. When you step out of the business, the business stops operating. That's not what you want to build. You want to build a company, right? My first company, BNT Erosion Control, we had 58 people. Now, when you have 
when you, and, and look, you're not going to build a 58 person real estate team, but you know, when you have a, a bigger team, you start to have m management and then middle management, right? And for me, you know, I built it in such a way that I could literally step out of the business and everything would run. Now that's, you know, ideally that's where you would love to get to, right? So in terms of marketing, I know how to get you leads on both sides of the fence. Now, and, and when you can have a stream of buyer's leads and a stream of listing leads, what can you do? You can fundamentally create a marketplace, right? Because you're controlling both the buyers and the sellers. You can literally match up your own buyers with your own sellers. Um, and it would, I've not seen anybody do this. Um, I've heard of one guy doing it in LA, I forget his name, but, uh, you know, there are something like, there are thousands of MLSs all over the, all over the, the country. Um, I, I talked to one guy, I can't think of where he's at. I think he, I think he was also like in Maryland. Um, but literally like there was one really upscale area in his, 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 his city and his community or whatever. And it literally, right. You have these you know, $300,000 houses in, in most of the area. And then there's this one very, very luxury market and it had its own MLS. What if you could, you know, let's say that guy in Montana owns 50% of the marketplace. Could he create his own MLS? Yeah, he could. That would be very, very interesting. I think, um, to control something like that. Anyhow, whatever. Let's 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 talk about building a team. And that's what I want to talk about, you know, today's episode. Now, again, not everybody is there, you know, to build a big team. You know, can you build a small team? Should you build a small team? Yeah, you should add team members. So so let's let's talk about that. Now, it takes a great team to effectively grow your business. Now, whether you have already built your team or you're, you're still working alone, growth is necessary to your success. You have to grow. And the first thing you wanna do, right, is get an assistant. Now, that should be your first step to growing your team. Even me, right? Even me right now, I have an assistant. I've had an assistant for, I don't know, maybe a month or two months. And, and uh, you know, one mantra that, that you may or may not have heard, it's, you know, it's, grow slow and fire fast. Now, I, my first assistant, I, I got him. It was a guy and he literally day one, he wasn't right. Guess what? Day one, I fired him. I got another assistant. She didn't seem right the first day and the second day she was iffy. Guess what? She made it to day three. I got rid of her. And now I'm on my third and uh, uh, we'll, 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 you know, every day, right? Every day you have to prove, you know, when you are building a business, whether again, you're working alone or you have a team, um, every day you have to go out, find the food, right? Find that animal, shoot it, kill it, bring it back to your cave and eat it. You have to do it all over again. Business is the same way. Every day, and I'm gonna talk about this topic a little bit later in the show, but every day you need to go out, find a deal, put it on the board. You know, you have to make money every day. You gotta feed your, your, your kids, right? You have to buy new shoes for mama. <clears throat> All right, so go get an assistant. Now, here's what, here's, I'm gonna talk about an assistant and your three steps and her three steps or his three. An assistant will allow you to focus on what you do best, right? Focus on your energy, focus your expertise on the most important aspects of your business. That is mainly prospecting. Right. If you've uh, uh, e myth revisited, right, you need to play to your strengths and hire out your weaknesses. Right. Focus on your daily dollar productive activities. That's prospecting. That's going out and finding a deal. Now, your assistant, <clears throat> excuse me for my cough. Um, your assistant should handle all the, you know, all the housekeeping stuff, all the low low dollar productive stuff, right? Um, there's office housekeeping tasks, there's data entry, there's making reports, there's looking up contact information, et cetera. Well, you should do what you do best. Make phone calls, you know, make appointments, build relationships with c customers, do customer d development. So you know, as you prepare to build, you know, a solid team, a great team for your business, I want you to ask yourself some simple questions, right? So, you know, and I'll, I'll tell you, here's the question you should ask. Um, what does success look like for us or for you? How will I know when we've achieved that success and how will I measure it? <clears throat> now, listen, you have to measure everything. You have to track everything because you, if you can't track it, if you can't measure it, you can't manage it. <clears throat> and that is a problem that most people have. They don't measure it they, and therefore, what happens? They can't manage it. So, 
So make sure that you're very clear on these core business points because you have to communicate them to your team members, right? Communication is so important. Um, so one way, one proven way for you to, you know, make sure that you're clear on your core business points and communicate them is to follow the big three concept. Now, the big three or the rule of three or whatever it is, I've actually moved this concept into my coaching. And by the way, um, I have one spot. I've had one spot available for like three weeks now and I'm not, I, everybody says they want to grow, but you know, you're scared to invest in yourself. <clears throat> you know, my coaching is cheaper than you think, but, uh, but I, but I, I started to focus on the big three. Now, now why have I done that? The, the three, the, the focus of three is, is, um, <clears throat> It's proven right throughout history. You know, even the U.S. Army focuses on this three task thing. They just put three things on their soldiers agenda. You know, and I, I forget whether it's during training or what. But so focus on the big three. Now, here here are your big three states every day. Your three statements. <clears throat> One, you, you are responsible for listings. You're responsible for sales and you're responsible for income production. Number one. Number two you are always prospecting to generate listing leads, not buyer's leads, but listing leads, right? You need to focus on listings first. <clears throat> and this is one thing that I really try to do, you know, with my coaching clients. It's pretty easy, you know, <clears throat> I, I, to, to go out and find buyers. And buyers are, buyers are buyers, right? You know, they take a lot of time, take a ton of time. You go and drive them around, you show them places, oh, that's not right, oh, I don't like that color. <sighs> If you focus on listings and you can create a listing heavy business, you know, you you really can start to create a predictable business by focus on listings. So number two, you're always prospecting to generate listing leads. <clears throat> number three, you're providing direction to your team. All you, you're responsible for the listings, the sales, income production, and you're responsible for your team. You have to give them direction. Okay. Now, I told you that I was a big fan of the big three, but I'm gonna give you a fourth big statement every day. Now, I would love for you to become super deliberate about finding a transaction today. Now, here's, what I ch here's my challenge to you. <clears throat> when you go to bed, I'd love for you to do this every day. When you go to bed, say to yourself, tomorrow, I'm gonna find someone who wants to sell their property within the next four weeks. When you wake up, say, Today, I'm gonna to find someone who wants to sell their property in the next four weeks. <clears throat> now, I promise, this is a very Napoleon Hill, uh, you know, think and grow rich, rich kind of thing. I promise you that if you can use this mantra every day, if you can actually envision this happening, that you're gonna find someone today that wants to sell in the next four weeks, you will manifest it. It can change everything in your business. So here's what happens. When you begin to truly envision this happening, that you're going to find this person, your vision will change, right? <clears throat> when you look at the landscape, you will start to see what you, what you are envisioning. You will to start, you'll start to be able to find those people who want to list their house in the next four weeks. You'll start to see opportunities where you didn't before. The other thing, your language will begin to transform, right? It, 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 it just happens. I just, <clears throat> if you do it, you will see, but your language will begin to transform. You'll begin to speak and dig into the people you meet in just a subtly, slightly different way because you are on a mission. You are looking for a transaction today. Seek and ye shall find. Anyhow, listen, let's get back to handling your assistant. But really, I, I do challenge you to do that. So you have your big three, for yourself. Now, you're 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 also going to have a big 3 for your assistant to focus on every day. This is a daily thing. Now, here's her big or his or her big thing or three things. <clears throat> One, campaign management. What is that? That's organizing photography, copywriting, advertising, proofing brochures, you know, uh, text ads. All of those little details, you know, beginning at the point where the property is listed. Now, <clears throat> you believe that you're the best person for this job. Nobody can do it as well as you can. And you know what? You're right. Nobody can do it as fast as you can. Yeah, you're right. You know what? It's low dollar productive activities. Let it go. Give it to your assistant. Free up your time for what you do best. Remember, you are responsible for income generation. <clears throat> okay, two, here's, here's the second thing. Database management. How important is your database? Your database is everything. 
you know, if you can, if you can build your database, manage your database, and and effectively mine your database, that's where you're going to begin to build a strong referral business. Don't you want to be there? Don't you want to be at the point? I would love for you, man. I would love if you're on the radio, bang, and you get 500 leads a day from, or I'm sorry, a month from the radio, right? You're on Boomtown. You get another 500 buyer leads on Boomtown. And then three, oh, you, you, as you put those people, you start to get transactions. You build a 2,500 person database. You build a 5,000 person database, whatever it is. Um, and you begin to effectively mine that. You can, your business, you can have this ultra smooth, silky business that is literally just a cash machine. You put $1 in, and eight kick out. So second thing for him or her, database management. Entering and categorizing new contacts with their details into your database. Uh, and three, marketing automation. You know, they, your assistant, should be setting up marketing campaigns for the proper categories and contacts inside your database. Now, <clears throat> there's lots of things you should automate. And and I don't want to get into it, but, you know, there's, uh, I don't know if I, you know, you can automate today, you um, you know, you can automate your social stuff, right? You can use something like Hootsuite. You go in there, create your tweets, create your Facebook posts, and set them out for automatic distribution. Um, you can get on an AWeber. <clears throat> now, AWeber is an autoresponder. If you've downloaded my book, which I, I just wrote a new one and uploaded a new one, you should do it. <clears throat> go to superagentslive.com. Give me your name and email, and I'll give you my 30-page book entitled How to Sell. Now, <clears throat> I don't do any of that, right? That is all automated. You put in your name, put an email, uh, AWeber gets it, AWeber delivers the book, and then you have to double opt in so that they know that you're legit. Um, um, there's tons of stuff you can do with, with AWeber, right? So the other thing you can do with AWeber, autoresponder, and I'm doing with this with some of my coaching clients is when somebody, you know, you, you do some Facebook ads, for example, or you drive somebody to your, to your website, um, it's really, really easy to, to, uh, you know what a pop-up is? Everybody's seen a pop-up. <clears throat> um, you know, you go to your website and uh, a pop-up comes up. Now, it, with AWeber, it's called the light box and it gets around a lot of the spam filters for pop-ups because, you know, browsers, whatever, have built in to block pop-ups. But this, with this light box technology, it gets around that. Now, what are we doing with these pop-ups or the light, these light boxes? <clears throat> what we're doing is, you know, we're creating this, you know, give us your name, your phone number, your email address. You know, it's, hey, get a free market, market valuation and, uh, and, you know, just put in your name and email address. Now, <clears throat> again, that's important because that, you know, when people get to your site, they go, oh, yeah, sure. You know, it's quick and easy. It's 30 seconds. I'd love to do that. They give your email. It gets delivered to you, and then you have number one, uh, uh, another person to start to market to, and two, you have a p potential appointment. Now, now, when you get somebody's, there's so many things in terms of mark, 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 marketing automation um, that I'd love for you to think about. And some of this, I, you know, I have so many big plans to help you guys out there. One of the things that I want to do, I'm just going to give you a, there's there, that you can do it on your own, but you know, I would love to create for you guys. Um, and it's on my list, but it's sort of way down on my list. <clears throat> Marketing sequences, meaning that, you know, let's say that you, you know, expires are part of your program. You should have a series of 10 emails that when you find an expired and you call them and you say, Hey, you know, I'm, I'm uh, I'm here. I, I'm better than the last guy. Blah blah blah. You get their email address. Now you should put them into your AWeber, you know, account, um, and put them on a list. That's an expired list. And every other day, for you know, let's say five tweet, uh, five, five to seven emails, you're gonna tell them why you're you, you're the best person for the job. Or how about this? What if you had a pre-appointment sequence? Right, you you have a listing appointment coming up. You put them in your database and, you know, every other day for five days or, you know, or, or ten, whatever, whatever the, 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 your process is. But let's say you had, you created a 10 day sequence for a pre-listing appointment, right? You, you set them up, right? You're giving them value. And by the time you get there, how much farther ahead are you than the guy that's, or gal that's going to come behind you? <clears throat> so anyhow, marketing automation, that stuff takes time. It takes some thought. It takes some energy. You should outsource that, push that off to your assistant. Now, <clears throat> the other thing too is, look, if you get a good assistant, and you should get a good assistant, hire slow, 
right? Fire fast. There's no reason that a good assistant can't do some prospecting by themselves. You know, this can be along the lines of overflow, right? Of, you know, um, let's say, you know, inspection callbacks. Let's say 10-day callbacks, just sold callbacks, um, following up on past inquiries from, uh, you know, your your website. Um, <clears throat> outsource that stuff, right? Low-level prospecting to your assistant. However, remember that prospecting is the single most important task you do inside your business. Remember, it's, you know, it's primarily your job because it requires your years of expertise, right? Your experience, your knowledge, your connections. Prospecting is all about building relationships. <clears throat> and those vital relationships need to be personal between you and your clients. Your assistant is there to allow you to do your job, not to do your, the job for you. So <clears throat> again, low, you can use your assistant for that low level prospecting. Okay, once you have your assistant in place, right, the beginning of your team, um, and, and now that person is handling all those maintenance type tasks, you can start building and growing your sales team. Now, I have one, one coaching client today that, that literally, he came to me and he's, he had this kind of crazy business and he, he was he kind of his why, right, his why, his focus, he wasn't very clear. And, I, you know, we kind of, you know, we worked together for, for three months or so and he realized, hey man, I wanna build, I wanna build a company. And all of a sudden, it was crazy. I said, okay, you know, we put a plan in place. He got one guy. Um, and now this guy that he found, uh, that he brought on his team happened to be like he was a past pastor of a church. So what do we do? We got it. We, we had him put together his database, his list. And it is crazy, man. This guy, like his first month on board, put seven deals on the board. Uh, his next month, he put like, like 11. It was really, really crazy. So, and then we went out and found another girl with a really strong list, whatever. So your assistant is now handling all those maintenance tasks. Let's talk about building and growing your sales team. So to, to, to build a team, a sales team, you, you, you need to be actively checking with them daily, right? You need to be helping them. Now, now as with everything, communication is key. So, uh, you know, uh, uh, I have found that the most effective people, most effective teams, you know, they do a morning huddle and there's all sorts of routines and, and things to, you know, that you can put in place uh, to get keep everybody focused, keep them on track, keep them informed. You know, they need to know what your expectations, expectations and focus is for each day, right? You need to be accountable to them as well as they need to be accountable to you. One of the most important things you will teach your team is how to use their time as well as yours. Give them, help them with structure. People struggle with structure. They struggle with routine. They struggle with their daily schedule. You need to be scheduled. You need to be structured and the, so that you can give them a structure. Tell them what you're going to be doing, right? And and what, as well as what they're expected to accomplish. One way, or I'm sorry, other ways to check pulse with your team is to do quick surveys. You know, do recognition, recognition rewards. Now, one thing that is super important, and I'm, 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 I'm on and off bad with this as, as well as great with this. But you know what? I tend to find what people are doing. You know, I want people to grow. So I'm always like, hey, you're not doing that well as well as you could. Um, so, you know, here's here's one or two things to help you get, you know, a little more polished. <clears throat> um, but here's here's what I will say. And you can use this in your daily life. Find ways to catch people doing something right. It is so important when you can catch someone doing something right. And you know what? And give them a pat on the back. You know, give them some recognition. And, you know, if you can do that, it goes a long way in, in, uh, in building loyalty. It goes a long way in building just a great corporate culture. And I'll tell you, man, culture is everything. So, you know, you teach your assistant to do the task you need done by having a clear, simple guideline and streamlining, streamlining the way your organization works. You build your team on your core business values and reinforce these values consistently to your team so that they always know what to do and why. It all begins with you knowing what you want to accomplish and you communicating your expectations clearly so your team can help you achieve your success. Hey guys, 
listen, I, I hope you've enjoy, enjoyed today's coaching tip. I, 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 I love every single one of you guys. I really want you to, to, to build the life you want, to build the business you want. I, I, too many people I talk to are struggling. You know, they have a business that, they, that, that sucks and they know it and they don't know what to do. All right, everybody, go get them. I'll talk to you soon. Let's go. Concentrated power.